kind of We haven't been able to, we don't have a conventional like washroom dryer here because right now I'm staying in a hotel but I was uh, I was washing my clothes up earlier by hand and I was wringing, I was wringing a couple of my shirts out and I just thought of knowledge like, what exactly is knowledge to, what is knowledge like? And it just made me think of that scripture uh, in Philippians talking about Paul um, counting everything that he has ever learned his whole whole life, learning from uh, the greatest minds of the world, uh, Plato and uh, a couple of the other ones that uh, counts all their knowledge is done. The true meaning is to win Christ. And I was thinking about that as I was wringing out my shirts. I like the more we suck up more on the knowledge of Christ. At well, I wouldn't really call it knowledge, like more of the wisdom. And almost like you take both those shirts, and one has knowledge in it, and one's wisdom. Now the knowledge one, yeah, you could have all the knowledge of the world, the things of this world. But it's just like, that's like a dry shirt in a way. All that knowledge, all the knowledge you attain, you can be the most brilliant, you can be like, you could be Albert Einstein, you could have been like Stephen Hawking, which was, he was an atheist by the way, you could have been, you could have been anybody. And basically, that, uh, that, that, Sure, only wrung out a little bit, but basically all the shirt that had that was wet just like the other shirt rang out more, but it rang out more wisdom and knowledge. But what what I'm trying to say is what wins at the end of the day. Wisdom is over knowledge any day. You have all the knowledge in the world when you have a little knowledge of Christ, but you have the wisdom and the mind of Christ, but also the wisdom but you're capturing everything of Christ to win Christ fully. You're the winner. So what wins in the end? It's wisdom, not knowledge. Yes, knowledge is good to have, but at the end, it's wisdom, wisdom in Christ. Your renewed mind in Christ, everything, taking everything of Christ. So at the end of the day, if you don't have Christ, count it all as done, you know? Count it all as done. You have nothing if you don't have God. So I just wanted to hope this message just really speaks and penetrates someone's spirit and soul. So message that God gave me the pool, call it the pool of knowledge. Um, you know, what does it mean, pool of knowledge? Philippians three and eight, count all of dung. Count it all dumb for I'm trying to win and gain Christ through it all. So anyway, God bless.